Can you speak to any mobile optimized tools making a difference in prostate cancer? Ah, so I, you know, um, I don't know specifically about, well, I can speak about some, um, some efforts I know about, but I think the mobile options are really a great idea. And I think the way I would think about it is um, there are uh, maybe bands. I know this is um, the case for, for example, mammograms, but I know that there can be traveling clinics where they may offer, for example, the prostate specific antigen blood tests, which can be used as a screening to determine if somebody might have prostate cancer. Um, and that might be something that um, somebody otherwise is really busy and doesn't necessarily um, have access to. Uh, usually it's something that is done by the primary care provider, but can be done through a mobile kind of access van. Um, I think some of the procedures could be done like blood tests. Um, for prostate cancer, um, I think uh, to get an actual diagnosis, to really be confident that there is prostate cancer and not something that's just causing the PSA, that blood test to be high. Some, sometimes people can have a high PSA without cancer. Um, and so it's important to actually get um, a biopsy to help be more confident and know for sure that there's cancer. That's usually done in a clinic. But the screening, meaning the sort of trying to figure out if somebody's at higher risk or not, can be done in a mobile van. And I think there are a number of many excellent programs around the country, um, not enough probably, but, but who are there, whose, whose mission it is to try to improve access to um, cancer screening.